Hello everybody, welcome back to another Fallout 4 tutorial guide here on the Nuka World DLC. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how and uh, where to get the Project Cobalt uh, schematics from uh, the Nuka World DLC. This will probably be the last kind of thing you need to do uh, and actually it's kind of like the goal of the DLC, it's like the end reward for uh, completing pretty much everything uh, there is to do in the game. Uh, so I'm just outside where we need to be right now, just clearing a few um, of these uh, bandits, scabs, whatever you want to call them. I'm in Borderlands mode still here, you know what I mean though. Um, but yeah, you want to be at the uh, at the Nuka bottling plant um, and basically I'm at the uh, the back door location right here and I'm actually going to uh, cheat a little bit to get in but uh, it's very easy to actually get in from this entrance so that's the one that I'm going to show you from uh, but yeah basically you want to come here um, and actually enter from this way it's probably the quickest way if you've already been in the uh, in the nuke plant uh, there's a terminal on the other side basically um, that can be unlocked so you can get in this door so uh, if you haven't done that already you are going to have to go in the other way and unlock that door but it's pretty easy to find anyway but uh, yeah there is the map location of exactly where we are it's just north of the world of refreshment completely north of the whole nuke town main area um, if you haven't done it and you um, can't be bothered to go around and unlock that terminal on pc just simply use console commands like i'm about to but uh, yeah, anyway, so first thing you need to do is go to the Nuka World Power Plant uh, to do this and actually turn the power on. Now you will have to kill all of the gang leaders, do their missions, uh, and that will allow you to go to the Nuka Power Plant and turn the power on. This cannot be done unless you do turn the power on because there's a door that will only open with power. Uh, so you've got to do that. Anyway, um, like I said, if you want to uh, console command this on PC, just click on it simply and type unlock in the console commands. But there is the terminal anyway. If you come from the other side, you will be able to unlock it from there. So from that entrance right there, just basically turn to the right and head all the way down through all of these rooms down here. And uh, this is the door in question right here. It has a terminal to open it, but before you turn the power back on, it will just say uh, error, no power or something like that. So uh, there is the map reference of it right here. But once you do turn the power on, you don't need to hack it, you don't need to do anything. You just simply come here, click on it, open the door, and then you can uh, get in from this way right there. Uh, there will be a lot of turrets, as you can see, uh, right there, but you just want to head to the elevator. I managed to run past them quite easily. But uh, we'll give it a cheeky little shot anyway with the missile launcher just to clear a few of them out. Anyway, head into the elevator, come up and uh, immediately turn to the left from when you first come in, um, right there, and uh, you want to hit these main double doors right in front of you, just here, and then as soon as you get through these double doors, turn immediately to your right and open these double doors right here into this kind of open room, come back on yourself to the right, and you'll see this table full of goodies. Once again, map reference, just so you can see exactly where it is. Now on this table there will be a uh, first sapper, which is pretty handy really, you do get one right at the beginning of the DLC, but it's always handy to have these, especially once you pick up um, the schematics. Uh, you've also got a little note from the guy who basically says that he's triggered the, the military alarm um, and hopefully he's going to get picked up very soon. Um, that doesn't really go very well as you'll see in a minute as he's uh, right next to me right now dead on the floor just there there you go uh, but yeah there's, there's a couple of nuke quantum grenades which uh, these schematics will allow you to build but there is the project cobalt schematics pick that up and then you can now build quantum grenades and thirst zapper modifications now the nuke quantum grenades are pretty damn good as are the uh, first zapper modifications so all you've got to do then is simply go to a weapons workbench, go down to your third sappers there. I've got three, which is pretty handy because there's three um, different mods for it. There's the Nuka Cola gun, the Cherry gun, and the Quantum gun. Now these will take adhesive, fiberglass, and nuclear material to build. But uh, yeah, this one will give you a splash of refreshment, which sprays a radiated Nuka Cola. That's the Nuka Cola gun. Not bad, that one. It's uh, pretty all right. Um, the cherry gun is uh, a lot better than that though really, I would recommend building one of each of these but the cherry gun will uh, cause a small explosion uh, when you actually fire it. But the best by far and my definite favourite is the quantum gun. Now this is quite expensive on ammo because you need to use Nuka Cola Quantum which is quite difficult to get hold of sometimes but that will cause a small nuclear explosion and uh, I'll show you that in action uh, very soon. Uh, but yeah, go ahead, try and get yourself three first sappers, build all of them, it's pretty fun really. 
Uh, and then all you have to do is come to a chemistry station and uh, you'll see in categories there is the first zapper ammo, you've got weaponized nuka cherry ammo, nuka cola ammo and nuka cola quantum ammo. So uh, this will take nuka cherry obviously, the nuka cola normal one will just take normal uh, nuka cola and the quantum will obviously take quantum. So uh, go ahead and build yourself quite a lot of these. You don't need too much ammo for these though as they are single shot items. This is the nuka cola quantum in action. Um, like I said, definitely my favourite. It's uh, well, it pretty much one shots anything that goes near it. You don't even have to be that precise with them as well because it's a, uh, a small nuclear explosion and it is what it says on the tin. It will just absolutely zap anything away that comes near it. So pretty damn good really. Anyway guys, that is a quick guide on uh, how to get the Project Cobalt schematics, um, the location and what you get with them. Like I said as well, you can build Nuka Cola Quantum, um, sorry, Nuka Quantum grenades with them, which are pretty damn good as well. I do recommend going for them. Uh, but yeah, definitely get yourself some third sappers, get these modifications on and give it a good go. Now I believe this is the Nuka Cherry uh, gun in action as well. And as you can see, just as good as Quantum, it will one shot nearly anything. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, really hope you've enjoyed, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.